repetition seems to me to be at the heart of all of our cultural and social failings. Oh, what comfort you all seem to take in your cookie-cutter days. Another weekend, another roach burger, another glorified re-release of the picture theatre. Come on, people! Go out there and live! Join me tomorrow on Two Point Radio, where I'll be talking about my collection of ceramic voles. Janitor to install upgrade, please. is talking on campus. Thank you. If you are getting in touch about one particular sequel, yes, the follow-up to Mr. Cushion's positively poisonous production, Perilous Spandex. The only thing hazardous about that particular picture is watching it. <laughs> the sequel, entitled Perilous Spandex 2, The Handles of Love, received the coveted Piece of Garbage Award. A little award that I bestow to highlight as a public service announcement, really, those films most bereft of value in our county's rich tradition of abominable filmmaking. Janitor required to repair training pod.
is a test announcement, not a real announcement. Administrator is reminded to stay hydrated. This has been exhausting. We shan't be doing it again, because unlike all you reproduction peddling washed up rehash monkeys, we at Two Point Radio know when to stop. Intruders on campus. You know what to do. Students are reminded to set reminders.
And that's the show. Of course, this has all been delivered to you with one rather heavy caveat. If I were ever to be involved in a second rendition of anything, I can be certain in telling you that it would be for good reason. And, if anything, would surely be a bigger, better, pickle-worthier version of what had come before it. <clears throat> How is that? All right? needed to unlock toilets. Lovely. Staff are reminded to care about students.
invited to be inspirational. Listening to Campus Radio, I'm Felicity Bellbottoms, narrating your coming-of-age story in all its awkward post-adolescent glory. Here's a song that perfectly captures the mood. Warning, stupid questions will make you look stupid. are reminded to be in two places at once. In the news today, Students have been spotted eating what some are calling nice-looking baguettes. 
Naturally, everyone is asking where they can get a nice looking baguette. We don't have an answer for you, but join us for some wild speculation later in the show. Results are now available. No unauthorized panicking. Enjoy your summer. Here's Wanda with the latest music trends. Tapes are in. Yes, those little rectangular guys are all anyone who's anyone is listening to. They're fabulous. Streaming can go on forever. But tapes? Tapes end. Don't you see? They end. One minute there's music, and then bang, gone. Just like us. Oh, and they've gone out of style. No unauthorized talking on campus. Thank you. Students. 
kids are reminded to have the time of their lives. students, we're more afraid of you than you are of us. What am I going to do with my life? I just don't know. Orb. Huh? What? Come to an Orb Foundation Learning Center and replace your mind with the power of the Orb. Oh, amazing! I'll do that then. Thanks! questions. No, you can't have an extension. Announcement. Plants need water, remember? It's not on your CV. It didn't happen. Not to me.
We promised you speculation, and here it is. Our sources tell us that a van parked on campus and began to sell not only baguettes, but a variety of pastries as well. One bystander described the shock. It just came out of nowhere. Next thing I knew, it was gone, and I was holding this really nice-looking baguette. What a day. There you have it. Lightning doesn't tend to strike twice, but here's hoping for more serendipitous pasty vans in our collective future. Questions. Your food is cold because the oven wasn't on. on campus. You know what to do. Thank <laughs> you. 
Students are reminded that some grades are personal. Students are reminded that I'm not your mom. Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. I hear that another university has opened its doors to the aspiring bookworms and lab rats of Two Point County. Listeners may remember that I don't like new universities because they're not old and therefore not any good. If they were, they'd have opened a long time ago. That's called logic, students, though I don't suppose you'd know. I can't say that I understand our county's recent fascination with opening pop-up universities on a weekly basis, but it seems appropriate to commemorate the opening of yet another fun-time house of real good learning. I thought we'd talk about the past, memories, and nostalgia. The feelings that things used to be in some incalculable and all-encompassing sense better. But why do we feel that way? Are we wearing rose-tinted glasses? Perhaps. Did everything used to be better? Probably. Janitor required in bathroom. Tuition fees may be spent on administrative bonuses.
education is non-refundable. I used to love taking the train, the steam, the crisp sandwiches, watching people's luggage fall. Oh, those were the days. Sadly, I now find the experience of using our county's rail services is missing one rather vital component. I find that everyone seems all too engrossed by their mobile phones. Now, I have no interest in talking to anyone, but what I did like was ignoring people. It's just no fun if they do it for you. Frequently asked questions. No, I will not be your friend. Stay hydrated. questions.
New to the Crumley Student Range, Chicken Stompers. Take the smoothest natural chicken matter from Crumley Farms boneless chickens. Add our secret seasoning and a touch of traditional stabilizing agent and stamp. You've got Crumley's Chicken Stompers. Breaded for palatability, they really could be anything. Mmm, just like Mama used to make. Staff are reminded that dogs don't eat homework. Plagiarism is not a belief system. was recently stolen back to the days of my youth. Yes, after inadvertently trapping myself in the airing cupboard, what did I come across but my old wooden tennis clogs? It had been too long since I thought about my days on the university tennis team. It was said that the mere sound of our carpet shoes were enough to cause eruptions of rosy cheeks and giggling on campus. Although some believed that it had something to do with our shorts. Hmm. Unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me. Intruders on campus, oh no.
Whatever happened to wooden tennis shoes anyway? The visual spectacle of tennis used to be accompanied by a positive symphony. A sound like a company of coconuts dancing on a ballroom floor. Only wooden tennis clogs can produce such an enchanting auditory experience. But what do they wear now? Ghastly, squeaky things. And for what? Added grip, light weight, it's practically cheating. Visitors should be checked in and then removed immediately. Staff are reminded to care about students. Students are reminded that this is the fun part. The rise of the synthetic shoe is not confined to the tennis court, sadly. I'm sure many long-time listeners know that I visit Confetto's Cobblers once a year and treat myself to a pair of brogues or loafers if I'm feeling scandalous. On my most recent visit, however, I was horrified to find that my dear cobbler had been replaced with an establishment by the name of the Shoe Zoo. But can one truly describe their collection of footwear as a menagerie without possessing a single pair of brogues? I think not. We are approaching the end of the academic year. Try not to worry.
results are in. Wow, didn't we do well? Summer break could be a great time for construction. Students are reminded to set reminders. Remember the start of the show? Remember when we were going to talk about nostalgia? Oh, what a paradise it seems. And yet, here we stand, talking about training shoes. Another vision gone awry over the savage passing of time. <gasps> How fitting. How dreadfully sad. Things used to be better, dear listeners. How could you know for sure? Well, my show is over. They can't be getting better, can they? Start of a new year. I'll be your host. Hello. Welcome, new students. We're more afraid of you than you are of us. There's a fly in here. Security breach. Please change your passwords. Sorry.
Students are asked not to ask questions. questions. No, your chicken should not be pink. Welcome to the show. I'm Richard E. Hawthorne, and you join me today for Two Point Radio's Election Day Special. We'll be talking all things mayoral as Two Point County approaches another important day in its history, and indeed, its future. Get in touch to tell us what you're thinking and how you're feeling. Who will be the next mayor of Two Point County? You decide. Students are reminded to find themselves.
parents are reminded that I'm not your mum. Intruders on campus, you know what to do. We're back. Today's election sees incumbent Mayor Tabitha Winsock take on all challengers. One such foe is Gumbo McNally. Yes, the cousin of Jumbo CEO, Jumbo McNally. Ms. Winsock has held a steady, some say tedious, lead in the polls over Mr. McNally. But what effect, if any, will his last gas speech have on today's proceedings? If you missed it, Mr. McNally finished a rousing 12-minute display with a story of how he once took a modest pile of change from his father and turned it into an impressive lunchtime spread featuring sandwiches, crisps, and sausage rolls. Oh, now that is impressive. Students are reminded that there's no such thing as free time. It's not on your CV, it didn't happen. Not to me. asked questions. No, your chicken should not be pink. From Michelle and Smogley, I spoke to Mayor Winsock after a Q&A once and told her that I'd written her a letter. She said that she remembered reading it, but I'd never sent it to her. So what? Did she break into my house? Or is she, like, telepathic, but just with post? What a lovely anecdote, Michelle. And aren't we lucky to have a mayor that's willing to go above as well as beyond? Unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me.
students are reminded that you came here on purpose. Distracted students should pretend that they're listening. Breakfast can be hard for us all. Toast again? Ugh. I hate it here! Uh-oh. Give those heckling kids something new to chew on. Wow. Only Hoglog cereal combines four times of wheat with a salty crunch of crispy bog skin. Frequently asked questions. Yes, we are testing you. inspirational. where your class is, is it really worth going?
It's election day here in Two Point County. Who else remembers the year they tried to hold the election through a bungle-made phone application? It's amazing to think that we'll never know whether the app didn't work or if no one voted that year. That's the mysterious wonder of pioneering technology. Anyway, here's hoping that this year we'll get some votes in. Students are asked not to ask questions. Staff are reminded to care about students. Here's a word from Jeffrey in Blayton. I, for one, think things have been all right, but you know, could they have been better? I think I speak for everyone when I say, yes, maybe they could have. Well, thanks for your time, Jeffrey. Wise words.
and hitting the box doesn't mean what you think it means. Witching hour is almost here, and this journalist's heart is positively beating with legislative excitement. But while we wait for the final count, I'll leave you with this. I spoke to my neighbor last weekend, and he informed me that he never decides his vote until he's in the booth. Giving that fateful cross to whichever candidate has the funnier name just goes to show we're all a bit of method and all a bit of madness. Education is non-refundable. We are approaching the end of the academic year. Try not to worry. The votes are in, and we're hearing that it's a landslide victory for Mayor Tabitha Windsock. Some people are bound to be pleased, while others must be feeling something else entirely. What we do know is that democracy has triumphed, meaning that, yet again, the people of Two Point County will be getting what they asked for. We've made our bed, and now it's time to sleep in it. Good night.
asked questions. No, I will not be your friend. and then we moved immediately. Needed to unlock toilets. Lovely. 